out with two of his kids and this this the type of shit that go on and you telling me like come on man we gonna keep holding on to this one thing like i said we just said fuck each other in a million different ways you know what i mean every chance we get we'll say fuck each other you know what i mean but when we gonna say fuck this shit when we gonna say fuck the streets it's a family is business always fuck all that other shit Tell me you love me You said you love me Don't say you love me Show me you love me And now it's saying that he was hit in the back by a stray bullet so from the sounds of that and I mean of course like the story could unfold and it could be more to it later on and maybe it is more to it but for the most part what it sounded like just for the sake of uh conversation he was hit in the back by a stray bullet so stray meaning the bullet wasn't even you know what i mean meant for him he over in this neighborhood delivering food you know what i mean obviously you know got his kids in the car with him too so he, he just, you know, 37-year-old brother, you know what I mean? Just uh, out doing what he do on the normal to provide for his family, you know what I mean? And this this the type of shit we up against every day, even when we trying to do right, you know what I mean? This is what we up against, just straight bullets everywhere, and you know what I mean? No matter where we at, no matter where we go, we got to... You know, head always on the swivel. I mean, his daughter get on the phone with his mother, her grandmother, you know, telling her, telling her like, uh, you know, pops, like daddy, my, my daddy hurt real bad, you know what I mean? And that's again, that's the shit I'm talking about. Like, uh, you know, grown man, another man to man, young man in the streets, whatever, we can talk all the shit we want to, but like, look at how that, how that, how that's gonna affect that child. You know, 25 years, 10 years, 20 years from now, how that child, that child will never be able to uh, undo that, erase that memory. You know, not only, it's one thing, you, you in the house safe and sound, and you hear about your father, just was killed, or uh, you know, you wake up, you know, the next morning on your way to school or something like that, and you uh, was told that your father was killed, you get off of school, something like that. But it's a whole nother thing when you right in the damn car with your father. And that's what I'm saying, like, that's why I continue, and I'ma always keep saying the streets is the off. Cause look at this shit, look, that's, that's a, the streets is against everybody. You know what I mean? The streets is against everybody. This street mentality, this street shit that keep going on generation after generation. It's the shit that's killing and hurting all of us. That's the that's the movement, that's the vibe, that's how we we gonna keep it going and we gonna uh keep pushing in that, that type of uh into that direction, man. Like the streets is the ops. You know what I mean? And, and as we go further on and further on into the future, we wanna get deeper and deeper into this thing to where like we come up with different initiatives and incentives and, and uh, different challenges to the community, to our people. Saying like, okay, like, well, we here, we got this understanding now. Okay, when, when, when streets is the ops, then grew so far, and we knowing like, okay, we just doing certain numbers or whatever on some, just on some content creating shit is one thing, and then it's like, okay, bam, now let's take it, let's get some boots on the ground. Motherfucker be like, oh, we just politicking. Don't nobody do no politicking without walking away with something. You know what I mean? And that's a whole nother story. His final words to his kids was, I love you. 50-year-old man killed by, so this brother get killed. 37-year-old brother get hit in the back by a stray bullet. Car, his car crashed and slammed into another car, kill a 50-year-old man. So you see what I'm saying? You see the domino effect? And that's just like, that's just to remind us too, when we get in that mode and get into that vibe of man, fuck that, you know what I'm saying? Like, man, you know, 
I ain't, you know, you know, uh, man, I ain't bothering nobody or this is my life. Like, no, it ain't just your life, man. It's our life. <laughs> like, think about them. That's, you know, that's, that's, that's pretty goddamn profound. You know, I just had a, you know, I just dropped a jewel on myself. I never seen it or thought of it like that, but that's the truth, you know. It ain't just my life. It ain't just your life. No, this our life. You affected, you You shot one motherfucker and killed another. You, you shot one brother, you shot one man and, and, and killed another. You know, shot and killed him and another person that, even, and it sound like this guy, again, stray bullet. Sound like he had nothing to do with it. When does it stop? Look, see? See? So, when does it stop? So, that entails, that, that tell you that, like, I ain't the only one feeling like this. We ain't the only ones vibing like this. Over here, Screech at Screech is the Ops. Shout out Celeste Burton, the director of uh, When Does It Stop. We from the top of the state, at the bottom of the lake. We from the top of the state, at the bottom of the lake. We from the top of the state, at the bottom of the lake. We from the top of the state, at the bottom of the lake. We from the top of the state, at the bottom of the lake. We from the top of the state, at the bottom of the lake. We from the top of the state, at the bottom of the lake. Yeah. Black community as a people. And uh yeah, like life is so precious, so it's just like you know, uh, yeah, we uh, we say fuck the streets. You know, we say fuck the streets. Sincerely, you know, streets is the ops. The streets is the ops. The streets is the ops. Yeah, this shit can save your life. So like, comment, subscribe to the channel. You know, let me know what y'all think in the comments, and I'll see y'all on the next one. Like the world, world, world Like you can't die today So why you living like the world, world, world We living like the world won't be We are, we are, we are We living like the world, world, world Like you can't die today Why you living like the world? Yeah. It's crazy cuz poverty at its lowest. Odd that we haven't noticed the odds, but against us, but since niggas can't sit the odor. Through it all, I remain focused, keep my brain open to wear my surroundings at all times. Let the game soaking, leaving my baby's fatherless is not an option for me. I take the hit, just keep the ball running. Option, homie, I do this for the team. Bloodline, my one and only. I'm married to this shit, holy matrimony.